biggest gay bar in Dallas. Um, they play, uh, this would have been in 1992, and they would be playing all of the disco songs from the 1970s all night. It was, it was great fun. Awesome. Yeah, it was it's, a, it's the best music. It sounds like yeah. the best time ever. <laughs> <laughs> to date ourselves a little further. Yeah, I know. When I was on the dance floor, that's when, when I saw Hugh. I was out dancing. I had on my cowboy hat and t-shirt oh, and right. everything. Yeah, so. he had a huge cowboy hat on. So, because um, I grew up on a ranch. We, yeah. so you know, that was my my true attire. It was yeah. a white straw cowboy hat. It's not, cowboy. Yeah, I still have it. It hangs in the front room. Uh -huh. <laughs> There's a. It was a short little strip about a block and a half long, where most of them were. And on one end of the block, it was JR's, and on the other end was Sue Ellen's. So if you know the series Dallas, Jr. and Sue Ellen were married. Oh, I never realized that's what that was from. Yeah. So it was, oh, it was yeah. the, the men's bar and the lesbian bar at the end. There was a little bit of a crossover there. I had a blast in Sue Ellen's. Across the street was the Roundup, which was the country western country bar. You know, I think when we saw each other, it would be for the second time on this blind date when he opened the door to his apartment and I was standing there and he was inside and we looked at each other. and. I think at that point we both thought that. I'm th I know I did. I felt like I'd met the person I was going to spend the rest of my life with. I didn't tell him that. <laughs> in fact.